today it's a cast power insertion so once we go with the impression as the patient uh, in the mouth the lapello will make ready this uh, cast bar this is the upper one he made it into two pieces so that uh, insertion removal becomes easy so this is in the first quadrant so main thing is uh, the path of insertion is very important so if you can remember the path of insertion you can uh, place it well here also and also in the patient's mouth so in the first quadrant uh, we are going to place will insert from the front like this can you see and then go back and will be undercut will be there so it's placed properly okay the same way in the second quadrant also is a second quadrant sir where and you have 1 2 3 4 5 implants are there there are 10 implants in the upper arch patient was using denture before almost for 10 uh, to 12 years i think so in the second arch uh, we'll start uh, inserting from the back implant that the last one that is in the molar okay insert it here and place it here and then can you see so and then we have to push it in yeah yeah now it's fitted so this is the upper one so so this cast bar uh, there will be undercuts in the patient mouth also uh, we have to trim those are marked undercuts where there is uh, it's not easy to insert uh, so we need to trim that surface in the patient mouth then only it will sit properly it's it sits properly in the ridge so this is the thing this is the upper one in the same way the lower also he made it into two pieces can you see this is the lower one so this is the two pieces that is is the third quadrant third quadrant uh, here the path of insertion is uh, uh, there is place it on the back implant first then you place it here okay then you push it in it's seated now properly so in the fourth quadrant in the same way the path of insertion if you can remember the path of insertion it will become easy for you to place it in the patient mouth also so here uh same thing we'll start from the last implant so i just removed it i'm going to place it now place it here place it on the back implant so what you are supposed to do is it has to go there is undercut is there and then push it not seated i mark the undercut so where uh, it's kind of uh, hindrance is there where you can air where this cast bar will not go so those uh, marked areas should be trimmed then uh, Uh, to place it in the patient mouth uh, we are using uh, this time uh, in this uh, full mouth rehabilitation case a different uh, method of uh, fabricating um, the processes so what we are doing here is i uh, explained about uh, the path of insertion how we are going to insert the metal bar in the patient mouth this cast bar here in this case so this is uh, the new method what we are using once everything is fine if the cast bar is fitted properly in the patient mouth so we have to check for the occlusion and then uh, we are going to fix this metal cast bar permanently in the patient mouth with the luting cement both this one lower as well as uh, upper we are going to fix this permanently in the patient mouth so upon this cast bar which is fixed in the patient mouth we are going to take the putty impression so once the putty impression taken you can take uh, in the single stage with the light body or otherwise you take the putty first then apply the light body and take the secondary impression again you can do it that way also so we are going to take the impression after fixing the cast bar in the patient mouth so whatever the impression you get upon this upon this uh, the uh, the lab technician is going to prepare the crown that is the trial crown so for this patient we are not giving hybrid denture we are giving the pfm crowns all over both in the upper and lower so he will give the trial insertion with the pfm for this case so once we are going to fit those trial on this cast bar and look for the occlusion as all those things then you we are going to decide about the shade for the patient and the size of the tooth shade which is suits for the patient so after that once in the trial everything is fine occlusion 
shade, size, all those things. Especially posterior occlusion is very important. That's for the patient's chewing and also anterior for aesthetics. So once everything is fine, we'll ask the patient, show the patient how it the final outcome will be. And again, we'll send it to the lab. So they're going to fabricate the final thing. So that will be the final processes will be fixed. Same with the looting cement permanently in the patient mode. So this is how the prosthetic process from the cast part till the final insertion of the fabricated PFM crowns. Thank you.